Hello people, welcome back to my channel Life by Studio. So in our last video, I gave you an overview of the course structure that we'll be covering throughout this tutorial series. So in this video, we'll start with the overview of Android Studio. So as I mentioned that this course is uh, completely designed for uh, the level for beginners till to intermediate. Uh, so I thought of uh, considering this video as a part of this course as well. So starting with Android Studio, I would recommend to download the latest one because we are going to work with some of the recent libraries which uh, could cause the Kotlin malfunctioning or Kotlin version issues. So I would recommend to use the latest version of the Android Studio. So I have this one installed, Bumblebee. Uh, you can just go to the Google and uh, search uh, download Android Studio and you can get the respective links for your platforms, either iOS or, and, uh, iOS or Windows. So once you have the Android Studio downloaded, you will be landing on to this page. Welcome to Android Studio. If you are like new to this, uh, so what you have to do is you just have to click on this new project. So once that activity is started, you land up uh, on this page. So as you can see, we Android has already provided some of the pre-configured setups. So if you are specific about your project that you want to work with maps or you want to work with uh, uh payment gateways or login then you can select any of these activities and uh get started with it quickly rather than just start from the scratch but for this tutorial series we'll be selecting the empty activity uh, and so after selecting we uh, come to this window so it says we need to set up the name of an application then uh, we have to uh, configure this for the android version so first we can quickly give a name AWS, AWS, AWS. So let's say my AWS application. So this can contain spaces and uppercase, lowercase letters. But uh, below, this will automatically be configured uh, as per the name that you select. So uh, this is used whenever you want to upload your application on Google Play Store. Uh, other than that, you have the basic save location where you, your application will be saved. This is a language you can select between uh, from uh, Java or Kotlin. So as we'll be doing the project base in Kotlin. So I've selected minimum SDK is the version of Android for which you want to make your app available. So if you're selected as seven, then your app won't be showing in Play Store with the Android version uh, uh, before seven. So you, the application will be launched for the Android version seven or above. With this, we can hit finish. So once you hit finish, your Android start compiling the files, necessary files and libraries required for the project. So it takes some time for setup. So I'll quickly lapse this video till the time it completes the setup and we can continue once everything is done. Yeah, so we are back. So everything is set up. We have the required files generated by Android. So before starting, let's just quickly uh, jump onto the project structure. So on the very left hand side, uh, we'll be usually dealing with uh, two type of file structures. One will be the Android and another will be the project. So why project? Because uh, in later part of the video, we also be dealing with third party libraries and our custom libraries, which can be added here inside lib folder, which is not present when you work in Android. So we'll be switching between these two file structures. But as of now, let's just uh, jump to Android. So when you click on Android from here, uh, you get uh, majorly two folders. So one uh, is the Gradle scripts and another one is the app. So uh, starting with the app uh, folder, we have basic uh, three folders. First is a manifest, a Java and resources. Inside the manifest folder, uh, you have this very very important file android.manifest though this includes uh, the your application details so what package you are using the name of the package basic settings how uh, if you want to set an icon for your application so this is a place where you can uh, change it if you are uh, here uh, all the list of activities show so here we as we only have one main activity 
so this single activity tag is there but in the future when we'll be adding more activities all the activities will be uh, getting accumulated here in this application tag uh, if you want to add some permissions then we can use this tag use this permission and suppose that we are taking the permission for the cameras then this way you have to define all the permissions here inside this manifest file so uh, in nutshell your manifest file consists all the primary settings of your uh, application now moving on mm, the second folder in the row is the java so this is the our folder in which our code rests so whatever activities fragments or code you will be designing it will come under this package uh, directory main activity so this is a place where you actually do the code development and the last one is the resources so uh, uh, whatever you see as a UI uh, which is icons uh, images sounds any any kind of uh, resource file uh, so this is a project directory where you have to manage everything so here predefined folders comes as drawable in which you can keep your image files for which will be set as image backgrounds your layout files which is uh, basically your screens for activities your map map files map map is the full uh, is the uh, scale based or pixel based directories for your images uh, for different kind of uh, uh, aspect ratios uh, and values finally in this you define all your color sets color combinations, strings uh, whatever you string you want to need you define here and you can directly use their names inside your application and uh, themes so day and night and what all theme palettes that you want to use uh, with different kinds of configuration changes so that's it with the application and our next part consists of the gradle scripts so gradle scripts is nothing where you um, define the list of libraries so whatever libraries you want to work a third party or android specific libraries so this is a place where you have to define the name of all the libraries inside this dependencies folder uh, uh, dependency dependency tag so i think uh, we'll be working more with gradle file but as of now uh, let's close this video and uh, I think this information is enough to uh, get everyone started. Thank you.